So what we did on August uh, 2nd, we grazed this field that we're standing in uh, very short, down to two inches instead of the usual six. We wanted to get that grass a little bit compromised. So when we plow, as it goes through the winter, uh, it's going to be a little bit harder to grow back in the spring and we're going to plow it next spring and then reseed. So let's go over to the other field now, the second field, and just compare the differences in the height of grass. Um, the second field was grazed on uh, October 19th. So that's 17 days difference between when this first field that we grazed short to two inches and the second field that we grazed to the normal six inches. And you will notice that the grass level uh, is almost the same. So it's very visual and apparent that leaving six inches behind you is not a waste of grass because that grass will regrow much faster than if you graze it down to two inches. The second field, my little calendar here, was grazed August 19th, a full 17 days after this first field. The first field again was grazed to two inches, down to two inches. The second field was grazed to six inches. And you can see, in comparing the two fields at this stage on September 2nd, that there's almost as much grass in the second field that was grazed to six inches as there is in the first field that was grazed down to two inches. So we're not wasting grass when we leave six inches behind it. That grass, when we leave it to that length, that grass just grows and regrows so much faster than if you graze it down to two inches. So for many years, I thought we were wasting grass and I was wrong all those years. During the past 30 years that we've grazed dairy cows and now sheep on these pastures, our fertility program has, has evolved. When we were first starting, we pretty much just used uh, fertilizer and the manure from the from the dairy cows not composted just directly applied over time that evolved into composting all of the manures primarily from the reason that the dairy cow manure had too much weed seed in it and we were really getting into problems with uh, new seedings it was <clears throat> like we planted about 20 pounds the acre of, of weed seed so we started composting uh, a huge benefit of that was not so much killing the weed seeds but also um, the composting uh, tied up and made a, a, a long-term release of minerals especially nitrogen so we were getting less leaching less ammonia vacation and we just were applying more nitrogen in a much more sustainable way to our pastures then as we further evolved uh, the last three or so years we've learned about more sustainable grazing practices those practices that we've been talking about today with leaving trampled grass behind you when you exit a paddock also we've increased our paddock grazing time from about 20 to 22 days to 32 to 35 days that in itself has an effect where we've used about 25 percent less added nitrogen in terms of or inorganic in applied just that that part alone with just increasing our rest period and not demanding that grass to regrow so fast maybe six or seven times during the season now we're doing it four to five times uh, asking it to regrow we're also now with that system where we are uh, achieving a full recovery of the grass and it once we got a full recovery of the grass things started looking up so presently what we're doing is is we're adding about uh, 75 pounds to the acre of actual n per season and as i mentioned earlier we were adding 140 to 160 pounds of actual n uh, when we weren't 
leaving behind grass and we were using a 20-day pasture rotation or a pasture rest system. So those two things have decreased our inorganic N applications by over half. Um, granted, we are getting a slightly less production uh, of grass, but it's, I feel it's much more compensated by the fact that our N inputs have decreased by 50%. And when pass or when fertilization is uh, four or five hundred dollars a ton for fertilizer, that really adds up. In addition to that, when we went to longer rest periods, we started to control our parasites better.